In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to dress for winter in warmer states. I'm gonna be sharing five tips that I do on a yearly basis. That way I look good even though I live in Florida, which can get really hot. If that sounds great, let's get right into it. What's going on guys, it's your boy Vega. And just like I mentioned before, I live in Florida, which is a very warm state. And you know, it's unfortunate because I love fashion and streetwear and I cannot really dress how I would like to dress for winter time. And if you're in a warmer state, just like me, if you're in a different region or country that is hot, you definitely came to the right spot. But quick disclaimer though, you know, if you follow this video, it's all about the materials. If you don't get the materials that I recommend, it's just not gonna work out for you. The next disclaimer is that you can dress however you want. But if you came to this video, it's because you care a little bit. So the first one that I wanna talk about are jackets. Not a shirt, not a jacket, right in between. And I did say jackets. If you don't understand, it's because I'm probably Puerto Rican. I probably say it funny, but either way, jackets are very good just because they provide that layer, that effect for fall, but you are also comfortable. I feel that jackets for the most part are going to provide a very good look. You know, they could be from denim jackets, like for example, a Zara one that I have showcased before in the video. They could be also, uh, you know, utility jackets. They also look great as well. Even corduroy jackets look awesome as well for the fall. And all of these are not gonna necessarily keep you all warm. It's just more about the effect of going ahead and dressing accordingly. If you don't wanna go ahead and wear a jacket because it is too hot, then consider a jacket and you should be good to go. Next one up is going to be bottoms. And when it comes down to bottoms and you live in a warmer state, you are bound to go and say, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna wear shorts because it's just really hot. Nothing wrong with that. But if you've been following me for quite some time, you notice that I wear a lot of nylon pants, nylon cargo pants. And again, that is because I live in Florida and I wanna look good all throughout the year. And sometimes I do wanna wear pants during the summer because I get tired of shorts but I tend to go towards my nylon pants. Now, if you come to me and say, you know what, I just rather wear shorts, definitely nothing wrong with that. I wear shorts as well, but just make it look tasteful. Like don't make it look like it's the middle of the summer that you're just rocking a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Like that is something that I highly, highly go against. Uh, make it a little bit better. Like go ahead and wear some shorts, nice sneakers and go ahead and rock a flannel. The flannel on top might give you a little bit more of a elevated element to your outfit and that's going to make it look even better. If you wanna wear shorts and maybe a long sleeve uh, polo shirt, that works as well. Just go ahead and try a little bit more. Don't make it look like it's summertime by wearing shorts flip-flops and a t-shirt and you're just going to the mall like that. It just doesn't look good. If you're just like me that loves wearing flannels, but flannels can tend to be a little bit warmer, especially if you start getting into temperatures that are like in the upper 70s, lower 80s, and you start moving around, they can get very warm very quickly. So I highly advise that you go ahead and switch that for a plaid shirt that is probably made out of 50% cotton, 50% polyester, just like this one. And it still gives you that same element of patterns and it just goes ahead again and it elevates your outfit. This is the type of shirt that if it's really warm and I have a pair of shorts, I probably could do something like this and I'm still going to feel comfortable. But at the same time, I'm gonna be dressing according to the season. So I'm not saying go ahead and fill your closet with plaid shirts, just get like the, the regular colors, like red, like a black and white, maybe a uh, blue if you like blue, and then that's pretty much it. And then keep the flannels for colder days. Now you're probably thinking, you know what? Those are great tips and everything, but it's just not the same. Trust me, I have felt like that before. You know, unfortunately we don't live up north where we can layer. Layer to me is kind of that, elevated level up your outfit type of game when it comes down to fall and winter, but we're not there. When life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade. We live in a warmer climate. I don't know why I say climate because that sounds like the Discovery Channel, Bruh. but we live in a warmer place. So what do you do? What can you go ahead and make up for that layering? Well, you accessorize. So go ahead, add some necklaces, add some bracelets, add some rings, and that will go ahead and level up your outfits. You know, go ahead and rock that 
flannel and shorts that I mentioned earlier, which I tend to do that, but I go ahead and level up by rocking some chains, some necklaces, some rings if I wanted, if I want to that day. And for the most part, I always have a watch. So that makes me feel better than the average Joe. Makes me feel better because I'm already rocking shorts. And at the same time, it just looks good. Maybe uh, go ahead and rock uh, some rings and that will go ahead and level up your game. Trust me, the ladies look at the hands a lot and the ladies look at what you're rocking and then how you're well put together. So at the end, trust me, it does go a long way. Last but not least, and I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know what, this is the most important tip. However, it is also very crucial because of where we at in the year. So for example, I'm gonna talk about colors. Colors are really important to stick by just because you don't wanna look like you're in the middle of summer with some neon pants or neon shirts. We're not there yet. We are not there yet. So for example, the colors that they recommend for winter time, which they tend to be these colors because they keep you warmer. It's kind of contradicting, right? It's black, it's grays, it's navy blue. I like rocking all of those colors, but just focusing the materials like I mentioned before. If you wanna rock colors like green, go ahead and do so. Maybe rock a forest green, not a neon green like that anybody can see you from like miles away. Again, we are not there yet. Same thing with yellow. If you wanna rock yellow, yes, it is a vibrant color, but go for a mustard yellow. You know, just more muted colors for the fall. That way you look good. And at the same time, you're not standing out like it's the middle of the summertime. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully it was short, sweet to the point as I normally try to make these videos. But when it comes down to the five tips that I just gave you, trust me, I really stand by them. I've been doing this for years. It really makes me feel that I'm still dressing according to the season without like breaking a sweat and being hot as balls. It kind of gives the outfits more, more life. Matter of fact, go ahead and comment more life if you made it this far into the video. It really lets me know that you mess with me, that you rock with the boy, all of that good stuff. But if you haven't done it by now, go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button, it really does mean a lot. And also hit that bell, that way you get notified every single time I drop a video. Also follow me on Instagram at carlosvega101. I'm always updating the date and time on my videos. I do Supra content, which is my car. If you like car content, follow me there. I also do some, some fashion stuff there too, but I'm trying to see how I balance my car content with my fashion in Instagram. So just follow me there, you know, it, it'll help your boy out. But with that being said, till next time, peace.